Until as recently as 2005, there was no education program here in Cambodia that dealt with biodiversity conservation. Given this situation, FFI and the Royal University of Phnom Penh agreed that there was a pressing need to develop a program that dealt with biodiversity conservation issues. This led to the establishment of the University Capacity Building Program in 2005, and this has four parts. The first is a master's program in biodiversity conservation. The second is the Cambodian Journal of Natural History. The third was the establishment of a conservation-orientated research group. And the fourth was the creation of a herbarium and zoological reference collections. Arguably the most important part of the program has been the people part, and by that I mean the development of international standard students who are now out in the conservation community in Cambodia making a difference. A good example of this process is It Seveng, who was one of the program's earliest graduates, who then went to complete his PhD in Thailand, and now occupies the position I once held in managing the entire program. I started this master program in 2006 and I successfully completed it in 2008. This made me to become the first cohort of, of the program. After the master program, I continued my PhD in Thailand in bat taxonomy, which is the same field as, as my master program. Um, after my PhD, so my intention was to come back to my workplace at Royal University of Phnom Penh, you know, and a chance to work closely, uh, closely with um, uh, CBC. Um, so there I can start to teach, you know, biology, science, especially in conservation, and have a chance to um, support the master student to conduct this research in the conservation field. I came back as a lecturer at IUPP and now I have been promoted to run the whole program. So now I have a better chance to mentor the next generation of conservationists. Because my background is bad research, so I am particularly um, proud of Ms. Hamtari, who is now working um, with Pasteur Institute doing research on thesis of bats. Um, I started my master degree in 2013 and my major or my thesis is about diet of bat and reproductive of bat. And then I graduated in 2015. I think uh, CBC master program is very good because the program provides a lot of scholarship to the student that help more people to help chance to study about biodiversity and conservation. Actually, I started CBC in 2009, and it is the 2009 just the bridging course, but the master program I start in January 2010, and I graduate in two, at the end of 2012. Now I'm working at the Ministry of Environment. I responsible for the research office mostly on the biodiversity and ecosystem evaluation office. There are a lot of jobs available for biodiversity conservation in Cambodia. So I think most of the students after they graduated from MSc program, they got job, very good job at the conservationist NGO, the government, now CBC students, they work everywhere in the country, especially with the conservation sector. Originally, the program was a collaboration between Royal University of Phnom Penh and Fauna and Flora International. The university has now developed its capacity to take over the program by itself. And this is the best way to um, ensure its um, sustainability in long term. For me the most encouraging part of the program uh, has been watching the students begin and then develop going on after their graduation to then occupy positions in government, in NGOs where they can influence policy and make a difference. 
also as well is the fact that the program has developed from an entirely foreign led or run initiative in its early days to now being entirely Cambodian run. It's been a great privilege to be part of it.